So the Las Vegas Raiders are going to be taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers this Sunday, and the Raiders are definitely going to have their work cut out for them, facing one of the top defenses currently in the NFL, who are giving up some of the fewest points as well as some of the fewest rushing yards, two things that the Raiders have struggled with so far this year. However, the Raiders have a secret weapon, and that secret weapon is Aiden O'Connell, who is now going to be the starting quarterback. But is this really a secret weapon? Is Aiden O'Connell really going to be able to overcome the Pittsburgh Steelers defense and a guy named TJ Watt, who is arguably the second best defensive end in the NFL behind our very own Max Crosby. Well, we're going to get into that and more in today's episode of the Raider D Podcast. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Raiders and Raiderettes, if you love Raiders content, hit that subscribe button because my analytics tell me that 67% of you still have not done so despite the fact that you've seen my beautiful mug here on YouTube multiple times. What are you waiting for? Cost you absolutely nothing. If you love the Raiders, support Raiders content creators and help us to get more content out there simply by hitting the subscribe button. And if you get any value out of this, please consider hitting that thumbs up as it really helps the algorithm to see that this is a good video and they'll push it out to more and hopefully Kansas City Chiefs fans will have to look at it and see the Raiders across my hat, which is great for, you know, annoying the team in red and all of their stupid fan base. All right, let's get into the crux of today's video. Aiden O'Connell is now going to be the starting quarterback for the Las Vegas Raiders. This isn't news. We've known this uh, pretty much since we lost to the Denver Broncos in humiliating fashion that this was going to be the case. Gardner Minshew, though he does put out some plays that make you say ooh and ah, he also makes you put out he also puts out some plays that makes you think, hmm, why is he QB1? And those plays tend to be more often than the oohs and the ahs, and that's why he will now be sitting on the bench picking and eating whatever he digs out of his gold mine. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Ugh, that was kind of gross. Not really sure if that's really what happened, but it's what it appeared to be on camera. Aiden O'Connell, on the other hand, is a bit more dignified as a quarterback as he is yet to be seen doing similar actions on the sideline as he is waiting his turn to be QB1. Aiden O'Connell gives us a couple of things, and I want to go down the list of things that Aiden O'Connell does well at, and then I will finish the video with some of the things that are concerning about him and flaws in his game that he really needs to clean up if he's going to become an elite starting quarterback in the NFL. So let's start out with Aiden O'Connell and the things that he does well. As Antonio Pierce has stated on multiple occasions, one thing that Aiden O'Connell does, does well is once he hits that back foot on whether it's a three-step or seven-step drop back, he's letting the ball rip. He is very good and cerebral. He is a smart quarterback. He understands reads. He understands defenses. And he knows where his guys are going to be open or not. So he's very quick to get, his, get the ball out of his hands and hit that first read. Now, if that first read is not open, he's very good at quickly recognizing that, moving off to his second read and seeing if that one's open. And if not, going to his third read. One, two, or three. If it's not there, he's going to scramble out and most likely just throw the ball out of bounds, move on to the next play. This is ball security. This is playing within what the defense is giving you. And I understand that a lot of us Raider fans don't want to sit there and watch a game where we're dinking and dunking. But sometimes that's the best formula for winning a game. Aiden O'Connell excels at that. He's really good at that. Towards the end of last season, he was nailing it. And it was working. And we were putting up a lot of points on teams like the Chargers and the Broncos to end the season. And this is why Aiden O'Connell should have been the starting quarterback to begin the season because the premise was that Gardner Minshew is going to give us the best chance to start out fast. 
well, start out fast as in fastly move, uh, losing games, that's what Gardner Minshew gave us. I think Aiden O'Connell would have given us the best chance to start out fast winning games because he's better at ball security and taking what the defense gives us, which means we're going to have more time of possession. And this has been proven. When Aiden O'Connell has been in the game, time of, time of possession on our offense has outdone the opposite team's offense. When Gardner Minshew has been in there, that's not been the case because it's been a lot of three and outs and turning the ball over. That gives the other team time of possession, and it's a really difficult formula to win when you are losing the time of possession, as well as turnovers. Now, turnovers is something that I believe that Aiden O'Connell is better at ball security than Gardner Minshew. And obviously, this is going to have to be proven out throughout the rest of this season, as Aiden O'Connell will be the starter, perceivably, to the end of the season, if he will be able to maintain that. But I think that Aiden O'Connell simply makes better decisions with the ball and gets the ball out quicker and faster than Gardner Minshew does. And that's going to lead to longer sustained drives as well as not turning the ball over as much. Will Aiden O'Connell throw an interception here and there? Of course he will. Every quarterback does. But Aiden O'Connell will throw, to, throw those interceptions far fewer than Gardner Minshew, who currently has more turnovers than he does touchdowns. I think we will definitely see the reverse of that with Aiden O'Connell. Plus, again, as I mentioned earlier, the time of possession will be better with Aiden because he's able to pick up more first downs by hitting that first read quickly off of his back foot. These are things that Aiden O'Connell is better at than Gardner Minshew. Now, I do want to talk about his deep ball accuracy. When you look at the statistics, Gardner Minshew is actually better at the deep ball than Aiden O'Connell. However, that's a bit of a skewed statistic because Gardner Minshew has also thrown a lot more deep balls over his six-year career than Aiden O'Connell in his very brief career as a rookie last year and not even getting a single starting position as a quarterback this year. And so once you kind of level this all out, they're pretty close in statistics for their deep ball accuracy. And this means that Aiden O'Connell should only improve on his deep ball accuracy rather than regress. And if that's the case, Aiden O'Connell will be better long term with that deep ball than Gardner Minshew. One knock on Aiden O'Connell is he does sometimes tend to hesitate to rocket that ball down the field, feeling that maybe it's going to end up in an interception or whatever. There's a little bit of a lack of confidence when it comes to Aiden O'Connell in that deep ball. I think the more that he throws, the more that it will grow. That almost rhymed, except I left the S off of the back end. And if you like that, make sure you like this video. So with that being said, Aiden O'Connell needs to improve on his deep balls. He needs to throw more of them. We need to stretch the defenses out, and this should help the running game to get more established. Now, one of the knocks on Aiden O'Connell that I want to talk about, some things that he needs to fix in his game is pretty simply this. He's just not good when he gets out of the pocket in most cases. Aiden O'Connell, especially if he's having to throw the ball more than 15 yards, he'll tend to throw that ball short and he'll throw it when his body is contorted in the wrong way. And it doesn't really matter if he runs to the left or if he runs to the right. He has an issue with accuracy when he's on the run. He's much better when he's in the pocket. But if you want to be elite in the NFL, you have to be at least decent throwing the ball on the run because you're not going to be able to just sit in the pocket, especially with the talented defensive tackles and defensive ends in the NFL today. And therefore, Aiden O'Connell's biggest knock and what all defenses are going to key on is trying to get him moving those feet because they know his accuracy drops significantly once he's out of the pocket. One thing that Aiden O'Connell could do to increase his accuracy out of the pocket is have a little bit better awareness and presence about him when he's being chased down, 
how much time he actually has to throw the ball and making a quicker decision with it. Therefore, he would be able to stop, plant his back foot, and then let go of the ball. His accuracy would increase much more. Does this mean he's going to take a bigger hit? Yes. But if he can't throw when his legs are moving, he's going to have to stop and let it go in order to get an accurate pass off and keep the ball and the chains moving down the field. If he can do that, the Raiders will score a lot more points, will control the time of possession a lot better, and it will open up the run game. Another knock on Aiden O'Connell is his play action pass is one of the worst that I've seen. And the whole point of the play action pass is that you're selling the run on the defensive side of the ball. You want the defense to believe that it's a running play. But Aiden O'Connell will not extend his arm anywhere near the running back. And so there's a good two foot gap of space. And this isn't fooling anybody, which is why if you go back and you look at the tape of Aiden O'Connell with the play action pass, it has not been as effective as it could be, especially when the running game is doing well. And it's because he's not good at selling that play action pass. Somebody who used to be really good at that was Derek Carr. Derek Carr had a lot of holes in his game, but one of them that he, he did not have was that play action pass he was really good at. Aiden O'Connell needs to really get the ball into the stomach of the running back to sell the play action pass instead of the little short shook move that he does with his hand. That's not fooling anybody. So if Aiden O'Connell can clean up the run and pass, if he can clean up his mobility and passing on the run, if he can clean up his play action pass and really sell the defense that it's a run play when it's actually a passing play, and if he can take more shots down the field and get more confidence there, Aiden O'Connell has a chance to be a franchise quarterback. Whether with the Raiders or somebody else, he absolutely has the intelligence, he has the height, he has the arm strength, and he has the ability to do it, but he needs to fix the things that he's lacking in. Now, if you agree with this video, drop a comment. If you think that I've missed something about Aiden O'Connell, drop a comment. I'll try to respond to as many of them as possible, and I'm going to be starting a brand new weekly video where I will pull up all of your guys' comments. I'll go through a bunch of them. I'll select a bunch of them. I'll pull them up and I'll actually make a video responding to your comments. Gonna start doing that next week. So make sure you get your comments in now because I'll pick my favorite comments throughout the week and then I'll do my comments Saturday video coming this Saturday. So keep an eye out for that. And again, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button and consider becoming a member. And once we get to 25 members, we will do a Saturday members only live, which will be a lot of fun. We're almost there. So get that membership today and come and join us where you can actually come up on YouTube with me and have a conversation about the Raiders. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.